Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 46. So today we are going to jump in further to designs. Yesterday we talked about creating a social design. Today we're going to show you the process of creating a print based design, specifically a postcard that we'll be able to use later on inside of campaigns. So as a reminder, designs is our paintbrush icon. So we're going to come into designs. And again, to create a new design, we'll come up to the top right, click on create design. And today we want to choose print. So we'll select print and then go into next. Now, typically postcards, they can be used for a lot of different reasons, but I see just listed, just sold being the two most popular reasons you would send out a postcard. And those two styles of postcards are available under the listings category. And if you come in, you can see just listed and there will be standard postcards. And then we've got just sold as well. And so here are the just sold postcards. By the way, if you like one of these templates and you want to use it for just listed, guys, it's not difficult. You can go in and just change out just sold for just listed, right? Pretty simple and easy switch there. So. Here's a just sold postcard. Let's go ahead and click on use to open the postcard. Now there is a little bit of nuance inside of the postcards. The first being, this is a front and a back. And so with our social design, we only had one page. On these designs at the bottom right hand corner here, you can see pages and it'll actually show us page one, which we're looking at, and then page two. When we click on page two, it'll open up page two on the back. So page one, very similar to our social design, several text boxes that we can come in and edit. Again, if you wanted to use this for just listed, you could just come in and change just sold to just listed, All right? Not real hard to do. We would just spread that out a little bit and spread that out a little bit, maybe recenter just slightly, wait for that blue bar to know that we're centered. And there you go, there's your just listed postcard, right? In this case, you would want to take out the sold and change it to listed at. Um, so we can do that. Let's just do it live and delete that. And here we're going to move this over, wait for that blue bar to know that we're centered. And there we go. So now we have literally just taken our just sold postcard and changed it to a just listed. Again, guys, a lot of room for creativity inside of designs. Next, we've got the photo here. That's not a photo of our listing. I showed you how to do this earlier but we would come into the KWS system. We would look up my friend Laura's amazing listing, 2607 Morgan Fair. Guys, I just can't get over this listing. It's just such an amazing house. Um, if only I had, what was it, $3 million laying around. So we'll select this listing. Uh, let's pick another fun photo. So maybe we'll change out this photo with this photo, right? What an amazing rotunda. Um, so we're going to change the price. What was the price? Listing details tells us that it is listed at 3.1. And so we're going to change that really easily. And there we go. To save time, I'm not going to go through and change out the rest of the material. You guys have seen us do that. But basically, we would come down and change the address and then change the information here. Now we can transition to the back of the postcard. And so in this case, um, they have hygiene on a lot of these. Unfortunately, we cannot bring the name of the person into the postcard. So we're going to go ahead and just take that out. Um, I'm going to move this text box up a little bit. And then what I would recommend is you might put in here uh, the public description of the property that you may have to pull uh, from the actual MLS, right? So you can see this is just pulling a portion of the property description and not all of it. So you might have to copy and paste that in from your actual MLS. Um, oh, it actually did pull it. It's just pulling it. Let's see. So if we take this and let's get all of that out of there. Save changes. And then if we do this, can we drop that in there? All right. So we can. It's just really big font. So let's take this down to eight point font. There we go. Now we're cooking with grease, right? And so if we do that and we do that, right? Let's move that in just a little bit. And here's another thing that I can tell you right now, this is all real jumbled up, right? Right on top of each other. If you come over to this button up here at the top, you can see the spacing option. And so right now there is zero spacing between lines, words, or letters. <clears throat> if we move this to the right, 
and I'm gonna move it to one. Let's see, I can move it just to two, right? And you can see it starts to take up a little bit more space. If I do letter spacing, that spaces out the letters. That looks a little bit different, right? So you can kind of play with this. And then if I do word spacing, right, that looks a little bit more manageable to read right now, in my opinion. So that's how you can kind of change the different spacing on the letters, the lines, and the words and play with that to make sure that it makes sense for you. Next, we've got our headshot. So we want to come over to images and change out the headshot. Since I've selected this headshot, I can just click a, a replace image over my agent photo. I would come in here and change out the name, change out my branding. Here's the team logo. Here's my market center logo. I'd want to get my download app code, which I can get from my marketing profile as well. And once I have this back completely done, then it's a matter of downloading the uh, postcard so that we can use it later on in campaigns. So you're going to make all of your edits to your front. You're going to make all of your edits to your back. And once you have the front and the back exactly as you want them, you're gonna come over and change the name, right? We forgot to do this on the last one, so I'm gonna make sure we do this on this one. Um, so this is 2607 Morgan Fair, and let's say just listed PC, right, for postcard. All right, perfect. So now we've named our file or our design, and we wanna download it, so I'm gonna click on download. And with your postcards, you wanna make sure that you choose the PDF for printing option. You also wanna make sure that you choose include bleed and make the use manual bleed option at 0.125. The last thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have only selected the first page. We wanna download page one separate from page two. So you'll have two different files. So I can click on download this is now going to download page one as a PDF unto itself. So now I'm going to click on page two and I'm going to do the download process one more time. And you can kind of see it at the bottom of the screen. This is the PDF that just got downloaded. So now I'm going to click on download one more time. PDF for printing is selected. Include bleed. Use manual. 0.125. Page two is selected. And now I can click on download again. So we're gonna get into campaigns later on in the challenge and I'm gonna show you how you can do a direct mail campaign using these actual postcards that we just downloaded. So that's it for today. Just kind of showing you again, one more thing that you can do in designs. We've done social, we've now done print. We'll get into email and video here very soon. Uh, but until then, I'll look forward to talking to you then. Hope you have a great day guys, thanks.